Hey guys, uh, today we will watch a 2v2 that I played a while ago with uh, Valiant on Doom Spiral. Space Marines and Necrons versus Imperial Guard and Space Marines, Dempsey and Beer. Let's wait for this to load. Here we go. On this side we have got Valiant. Here to serve. And he makes two servitors and two scouts. Also we'll build a generator of course. I go for three scarabs. A fast Necron Warrior Squad, then another one. Another Scarab and another uh, Necron Warrior Squad. Making this fast Necron Warrior Squad in case somebody will rush me. It's uh, risky to go for more Scarabs on this map. Scouts may come from the other side. Of course I didn't know here is the Space Marine. But no matter. Just made sure to have one Necron Warrior Squad out as fast as possible. Then one more Necron Warrior and Necron Lord, of course. If, if they will go 2v1 on my ally, I will have to help him. So Necron Lord is required, even though it will be quite late in this game. Here I also went for a fast capture of this front strategic point, building the Abelisk. On the other side we have Beer, who makes the Force Commander, uh, Plasma Generator, also two Scout Squads and two Builders. And on this side we have Dempsey, which right now is already giving a hard time to Valiant. Valiant doesn't have... didn't have the Force Commander, neither the Space Marines out, so a few Scouts died. They cannot fight this amount of Guardsmen especially with a uh, common squad around. I come to help him with a Necron Warrior squad. Necron Warriors are very effective in here versus the Guardsmen. Their morale is already down. And Valiant is trying to run for close combat at this common squad. Instead of shooting it, I also came to build Valiant's strategic point because his builders, I don't know, probably were killed. No, he had one alive. One was probably killed by the command squad. Anyway, no problem, I built his position. He now upgrades it. Nicely done from him. Beer saying force commander right here. They went to kill it. Now Valiant Cold just run back, but he stays. Killed the general, but will lose the force commander. Well, he could evade this uh, easily by just attaching the force commander to the squad and running back, but he stayed. So that was a mistake from him. Now he will have to focus this scouts of beer and kill them. And he also needs to upgrade this uh, strategic point, this listening post. Because he's only on two right now, so he needs to upgrade this. And he upgraded it, nicely done. 50 to 10 economy for Valiant, that's extremely bad. My economy plus 70 very soon, and I go for summoning core. I realized Valiant is in a big trouble right here. So I have to make some more Necron Warriors with upgrade and help him out. Beer keeps making more army, getting Valiant's strategic point. Already built it. He even came to repair and upgrades the fortified position. Beer's economy is phenomenal right now, 110 to 30, compared to Valiant's 156 to 10. 
nicely done from by beer. Nice uh, micro management. He also did not lose anything, it seems. But right now here his here starts his mistakes. Runs into my Necron Warriors. And does not cancel this fortified position. So uh, this position gets killed without killing anything and without paying up whatsoever. My Necron Warriors stay alive. I have to move back. And then trying to engage again when the teleport on Necron Lord is available. Because I have to tie up at least one squad. So I do not lose too many Necron Warriors. Dempsey's common squad uh, a bit low on HP. Especially the priest, now it dies. Priest dies and the Psyker is on low HP. Dempsey has to run back. Three Necron Warriors from me on this side. Forcing also Beer to move back. Valiant's economy a bit improved, but still bad. And he goes tier 2. Well, at least tier 2 from him. I'm not about to go tier 2 anytime soon. So it's a good decision for him to do that. Four minutes until taking whole victory. My Necron Lord again jumped. Goes to tie up that squad with Force Commander. While we stay behind and destroy another strategic point, another listening post of Beer. Beer is already tier 2 now, goes for Chaplain, makes the Bionic, and adds the Surgeons, Surgeons with heavy bolters, Beer style. I don't see on any other Space Marines, only Beer can hit tier 2 and add, add those heavy borders with the surgeons so fast I mean it's some unusual play style the reason why I said it's beer style but probably many players used this back in the day Dempsey is already also tier 2 he has the tactical control 74 to 30 economy but only plus 30 energy another solar pulse here by me not allowing these enemy forces to get into Valiant's base. Slowly adding more members to my Necron Warrior squads. I already have four of them. And I hit tier 2 in about 5 seconds. About 10. Dempsey uses the HQ scanner on this side he wants to shoot with his grenades and also allow Beer to kill this point, to shoot at this listening post with his heavy borders. So I decided to activate the phase shift. It protects the buildings and the surrounding units. And I also come with the scarabs to repair this point. Because Valiant didn't want to lose his ones. Mine are free, so I can do that safely. I go for one more generator and the greater summoning core. My economy plus 84 now. No globals upgrades yet. Look at this enemy forces, already very powerful. But Beer gets his Rhino transport and will probably go into my base from what I can see. Yeah, he goes in my base. But I make the Immortals. Make, making the Immortals just in time. So once the Rhino will hit my base, the Immortals will basically get out. They am also able to teleport with the Necron Lord and Necron Warriors to save my base in case it's uh, nece nece necessary. I'm sorry. Summoning core, the greater one was built, I can order the second Necron Warrior upgrade once I have 200 income, 200 energy. 
yeah, that's right. I've made a Flayed One squad, but had no limit for Immortals, so I had to delete them. From the other side, my Necron Warriors go. Tried a little pathing on the Rhino, but it didn't really work. So I make the Enhanced Disruption Field the second upgrade for the Necron Warriors. Valiant also hits tier 2 now, and he made the chaplain with the Grey Knights. He's also got the Force Commander, and one squad of Space Marines. Look at this Necron March, marching into Beer's base. While Dempsey and Beer went on Valiant. Oh my god, this uh, grenade damage is so painful on Valiant's units. Bear has to go back because he sees my uh, huge army. He needs to defend his base. While Dempsey stays in here fighting Valiant, he doesn't want to help Bear out. Immortals should focus the Rhino very soon. Yeah, they do that. And uh, Necron Warriors must focus this Beer's infantry. I also made a destroyer right now. Destroyer is out. A very useful when enemy doesn't have anti vehicle. Beer only has uh, these dreadnoughts, which aren't very effective versus vehicles. They have the disruption for infantry, but the, their damage is not not good enough to counter destroyers. Beer has to run away while uh, I destroy his base and killing his infantry with the destroyers his buildings and vehicles with Immortals and Necron Warriors. Dempsey has to get in here and help Bear out. Valiant seems fine. So look at this. Two destroyers were enough to stop Bear's infantry almost. And also kill tons of guardsmen. Beer's mistake, he did not make uh, any anti-vehicle, and same for Dempsey, he is not making anti-vehicle, he makes Hellhounds, he wants to counter uh, my uh, Necron Warriors. Very nice ability by Valiant here on the Guardsmen, and all of the Dempsey's infantry dies right here. Probably lost control of it. Here we observe how the Loyalists can't really succeed at fighting us back. I've already took one of Bear's points, trying to save my destroyers, but the Sentinel focused one. The other one is being repaired. Another Solar Pulse was used. Very useful one, I'd say. Did not allow the Sentinels to shoot for a while, and I saved my destroyer that way. While killed the Sentinels with Immortals. Valiant still doing good in here, adding the missile launchers to counter these vehicles. While Beer made another Rhino that will get the killed. The Sentinel will get killed as well. But some huge Necron power in here. On this map Necrons can be very powerful. Because
because the way your economy can get very strong compared to the enemy's one. Only four points is not enough. Four points for one player and three points for the other one. Saying good job to Bailey and he played very well even though he got uh, a bit pressured by two at the beginning since I came to help him. But he still did a good job and this results in our victory. He also made a land speeder tempest which can destroy uh, dreadnoughts without receiving damage because it's air unit and beer complains about necron well to some uh, degree he is uh, correct he has uh, the right point because necrons on this map can become a nightmare in good hands and can even fight two players if required but uh, two high-level players will deal with uh, Necron on this map, it's not a big problem. They just have to be pressured the entire game. And you can deal with the Necrons. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this game of mine with Valiant. And of Beer and Dempsey. Let's take a look at the score screen. And as I've said, Necrons on this map can do way too much. They didn't harass me at the beginning, they did not rush, they did not do any damage to me until tier 2 and 5. Well, my base was basically untouchable, so here are the results. I kill 84 units, Valiant 28. Beer 67 and Dempsey 52. I've also lost the biggest amount of units. 91. Well, I made a huge amount of Necron Warriors. I deleted my fla flayed ones and, well, basically my army size. Here you can see it 112. And of course, with resources, I uh, get the best score on this map Necrons can win in resources easily and I also reinforced 103 units the reason why I also lost tons of uh, military units lost 91 but that wasn't a big problem they were uh, reinforcing basically the entire game since they get got out I had the resources to do that and I had the need to do that. I had the need to reinforce the Necron Warriors, otherwise I would lose them, Beer would kill my army and this could be a loss. So I had the chance and the need to keep my army reinforced. I also have the biggest score in technology. Beer also played pretty nice. He had a very good economy early game until I destroyed his Echo and Dempsey tried probably also his best but he was only on 3 points but still Imperial Guard on 3 points can do something but it wasn't enough so uh, if you enjoy this game you can leave a like you can leave your feedback below the video you can subscribe if you're new and of course stay up to date if you're interested in more videos. Thanks for watching.